Nigeria has a history of election related violence. Some of these include voter intimidation, suppression, violence, ethnic and religious tensions, weak electoral system, and fraud. This is a story of ethnic Jennifer, who was recently attacked by thugs in a polling unit by performing as civic rights as a citizen of Nigeria. She is one of the main injured people during election. This is suicide. Don't oh, cry, oh, even with blood oh, dripping on your face. Oh, dripping from your face, you're still voting. Oh, right. You can see the reality. I went out like every normal Nigerian that wants to vote. In Nigeria, the right to vote is the fundamental aspect of democracy. However, the traditional process of voting has been played with challenges which has affected the integrity of the electoral processes. Some of these challenges include vote rigging, ballot box snatching, fund mismanagement, and election violence. According to the survey we conducted, 69.5% of the total feedbacks agreed that elections in Nigeria are not free and fair, and 79.3% strongly support electronic voting in Nigeria. This is why our team have come up with a solution by creating an electronic voting app called Credible, which is in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal system to promote free, just, peaceful and violent free elections in Nigeria, as well as to encourage fund management. Credible app is a user-friendly, safe and secure voting app that allows users to vote from the comfort of their home and these real-time voting experience and results. Our app provides faster results, reduces human errors and resolves manipulation, as well as excessive costs of printing ballot papers. In addition, Events freedom, violence, and save lives from the risk of traveling around the world just to vote. Compared to the other apps like IREV and IGOVOTE, which only allow results upload for collation, our app is the only app that provides a unique platform for users to vote electronically from the comfort of their homes and gives real time results. Wow. I just casted my vote with this. Wow, wow. Credible app is the real deal. Imagine standing under the sun for hours just to cast a vote for one man. Standing under the sun for hours just to cast a vote for one man. Credible app just made voting easy. I could just vote for the comfort of my own. Thank you, Credible. In the future, we intend to one. Activate the other electoral positions and commands. Two, design language translators to accommodate other tribes in Nigeria, like Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa, and the world at large. The three, deploy our app on Google Play Store and Apple Store. Four, allow the adaptation to suit any form of election in any organization. Five, create a USSD system for people without smart devices. We had some challenges in deciding the problem to solve. Choosing the app name, the mantra, designing the logo, we had a challenge in designing the user interface, researching on the survey, and lastly, the video. Credible! Give credibility to your voice! Okay, that looked like um, an advert from outer space, something that cannot be realizable, but hey, this is something that has been done, and it's not just done by any person, but it's done by our own children. We are so proud of these children. F by the way, those children you saw there are nine. You can guess who is nine, the bossy one, the, the, you know, and then you, the other one is 12 years old. So it's my great joy and pride to introduce to you uh, this morning on the show Chizaram, uh, Olivia Chizaram, who is um, uh, 12 years old, and we're glad that you were able to join us. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And then we have Chizorum. I just want to call their first names only. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Good. They are Nigerians. They're school in Nigeria, right? Yes. Not abroad. 
So we are in Nigeria here, which means we have these talents here, and they developed this app. Let's be, begin with you, uh, Chizara. Give us a background to why you developed this app. I know what you have said already uh, on the clip there, but let's get to hear it directly from you. We developed this app because Nigeria has always had electronic violence. Mm -hmm. And then we just wanted to change this. We wanted everyone's voice to be heard. Mm -hmm. We wanted everybody's voice to be heard, including uh, those people who are being marginalized right now and all that. So how does the uh, app work? Eligible app is an online electronic voting app that allows eligible voters to cast their votes from the comfort of their home in any location while using their smartphones or other electronic devices. So you have to have a smartphone for you to be able to cast your vote? No, we're also planning on creating a USSD system for people without smart devices. Oh, really? So, but now the stage we are in, you have to have a, a smartphone, but you are intending to do that. Yes. How long did it take you to create this app? It took about 14 weeks. 14 weeks? Yeah. To, to create the app. Well, that's interesting, 14 weeks. What kind of background do you have? Will I call you scientists already? <laughs> or, or you're just regular students who, who had a passion for something to do like this? Yeah, regular students. But you want to pursue sciences? Yes, we want to. Are you sure? Are you sure? You also want to pursue sciences? You were talking like a politician, you know, with, with so much authority and with your hands and all that. You want to do sciences after this? Okay. You have not decided yet. <laughs> okay, uh, Chizaram, let, let me come back to you. Tell us about um, this event that you went to and marketed, so to speak, this credible app of yours. We understand you just came back from an event, you won, uh, you won uh, uh, medals and all that, and you had a position that we are really proud of. So just tell us about that event. We call social impact. So Technovation is an organization that empowers girls to become tech savvy, makes them leaders, innovators, creators, mm -hmm. problem solvers, and tech entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you went, how did it start? Because the, the finals were held in Nigeria. So how did it start from, from stage one? How did you get to enroll into uh, this uh, technovation, you called it? Yes. yes. How did you enroll? How did you get to know about it? We got to know about Technovation from our school, the Potter's Land School. So when we signed up for it, we went through like past what other people have done. So we're really impressed and really wanted to help our community. Mm -hmm. So we started thinking of problems to solve. When we now thought of the election problem, we now came up with a solution by creating an, an electronic voting app to help solve this problem. Yeah, I can see that you are not in the same class, right? Yes. So, was it, were you asked to group according to your siblings or you just had to choose a partner that you liked? No, we group according to our siblings. Or well, everybody had a sister that, what of the people that didn't have sisters? No, they were probably friends or close, they were close. Okay, okay. So you, you decided to do electronic, um, Electronic voting, yeah, that's it. So how was the experience like working on this app? Was it a pleasant experience? Was it a, a difficult experience or something? It was difficult and also pleasant. Mm. I, I'd like to hear the pleasant part of it. I went by making the survey and also the history video. Mm -hmm. When you were making the surveys and all that, so yes. it was very pleasant to you. Yes. and. If you were given an opportunity to develop another app, apart from this electronic app, what would it be? Healthcare. Healthcare? Healthcare. What specific uh, aspect of healthcare do you want? I'm not really sure, but we're still thinking of it. Okay. Healthcare. Oh, you're thinking of it. It's not just like um, you will think about it. You have already had um, a... a a light bulb moment, as they call it, and you're going to do something about healthcare. Yes. Now, 
how do you intend to use this app? Is it designed only for Nigeria or you want it to go global? We want it to go global. Okay. So what did the United Nations or whatever relevant authorities uh, were at that event say about your app? Well, we went to AMD. They say it was a really nice idea that they wish it could really work for our community. Okay. Are you having any kind of funding for it? Are there sponsors that are willing to key into what you're doing and make sure that it is out there for people to access? No, but we hope so. You hope so? Our mommy will be doing something about that. She's your manager right now, as it is. Okay. Um, t tell us more about about challenges you have in school. This is like just personal things apart from the app, you know. In school. You, in school, you know, about schooling. Why I'm bringing this up is that in while we were growing up, we are the BBC, the BBC generation. You know what that means? Born before computer. We, don't, we didn't know much about computers. So, so growing up, we didn't think things like this were possible at all. So when you're talking now, there are people on the streets people of your age that think that a lot of things are not doable. So I'd like you, both of you, to encourage them by you know, telling your, a little bit of your experience in school and what the need is for people to go to school. Anything. That's, ladies and gentlemen, she's just looking at me like, really? Do I need to say something uh, before someone gets to know that school is good enough? These people are doing us proud. They have been in school. They are in school. What class are you? I'm um, year five. Year five. That is primary. Yes. Five. What class are you? I'm um, year nine. Okay. So what I want to bring out here is that everything is possible if you put your mind to it. This is Chizaram and Chizorum, two people that have taken the name of Nigeria to the international scene. And before I ask them any other question, I'm calling on all the relevant authorities to look into the possibility of making this go viral and also for us in the nearest future to use apps like this developed locally by our own people and also encourage uh, this kind of um, innovations in our schools. We've seen the curriculum that we operate right now and it is not meeting global standards because the people will churn out in our secondary schools, our primary schools, our universities even, some people say are not employable. But if you see the success story of uh, these two, you know that things are possible in this country and um, with a little prodding, with a little uh, funding, with a little of everything that is needed in schools, especially public institutions, we can have a lot of people uh, doing very great things. So now, you have entered the first competition. This is your first competition. Yes. yes. And you have been exposed to <coughs> so many others, right? So you intend to also continue doing things like this. About what is your next plan? <coughs> we plan to cooperate with INEC, the government, mm -hmm. to like use this app. Mm -hmm. INEC, but you have not had a contact with them yet. Yes. And you intend to do that. Yes. Okay. So if there is something we can do, we are, we are also going to do it because we like the situation where children come up with creative ideas and we like to encourage them to do even more than that. So if you have a challenge, uh, I'm not management, but if you have a challenge that the media can do, we'd like to also be a part of that. That is a promise that I can give you. Thank you. Oh, you're smiling right now, but we're going to do that for you. And we're encouraging everybody else who has something really innovative that uh, they want to put out there, uh, that we want to encourage you and whatever we can do, just reach out to Plus TV Africa. That's what we do. And we, uh, we concentrate mostly on the youth. We want you to succeed. We want our country to be better. And you being the leaders of tomorrow, we will do everything within our power to make that come to fruition. Now, INEC is the one you want to collaborate with. And when you go into the health issue that you're going to do, uh, you're going to also collaborate with the Minister of Health, right? and so many other things. We want to wish you uh, luck. 
in whatever you're doing. And by the way, if you didn't see, uh, they have very shining medals here for both of them that they got from this technovation that you call it credible app. Is it already on the Apple on the Google Play Store? No. no. When do you intend to put it there? Soon. Soon. How soon is soon? You're you're being very careful. So soon when? Before the end of the year, or before the end of two years, or before the end of this present administration? The end of this year. The end of this year. Are there any challenges that you're facing uh, in trying to put it into Google Play Store? Yes. What are these challenges? Money. 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 And then it keeps rejecting it. It keeps rejecting it. Okay, so uh, possibly we can also um, connect with some tech guys that may know the challenges that you're facing and see what they can do about that. I'm just, am I making an, am I doing an interview? I'm just, or I'm just giving promises to these people. I'm so excited uh, that they are here in the studio. They've told us how they got to find out about technovation. They've told us how long it took them to do this. They have told us what their aim with this material is. They've also told us what they intend to do for the future. We've about covered everything uh, to, um, about this topic but in the course of doing this you must have had some support from xyz from some people who, who are the people who were your greatest supporters for you to be able to achieve this my mentors your mentors our family members family members okay mentors when you say mentors what do you mean teachers yes just the teachers mm -hmm. so how how was the process to um, the process, how was the process like? I, I'm eating my words now, I don't even know, how, I'm just rambling around. How was the process like when you were trying to develop this app? Was it such that you were spending long hours or you were doing it during school hours or you were doing it during weekends only and all that? It took you 14 weeks to achieve this. How was the process like? Like after school and during the weekends after school and during the weekends and your mentors were always with you yes yes every step of the way are there some that you would like to recognize on air right now people whose names you would like to call yes my mom yeah <laughs> just call her name your mom what's her name mrs nina obi okay and who are the mentors that you were talking about and mr olasoji mr olasoji miss miss olasoji Okay, she was the mentor. Yeah. Who else? My mom was also a mentor. Oh, interesting. So the two of them are the ones that you'd like to give credit to right now? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm very happy with that. Uh, mom, uh, mom, wherever you are, you can hear us. Uh, thank you for a job well done. Uh, Mrs. Ola, Ms. Olasoji, right? Yes. Thank you for a job well done. We need mentors in every field of endeavor. If you want to grow in whatever you're going to do, get someone to be your mentor. Even in business, that's what we have been told. And right now, Chizaram and Chizorum had mentors. Fortunately, one of them was their mom. And it's good. If you are a parent, be interested in what your children are doing. They may not be inventors like they are, but they can excel in whatever they're trying to do if you are a part of their life and their journey. That is a message that should sit with you today. Um, would like to thank you, except you have something else that you'd like to say as a final word. You have, okay. Let me start with you, Chizara. Go ahead. Solve a problem and change the world. Hmm. That's what you like to say. Yes. Solve a problem and change the world. What would you like to say? The world needs you. The world needs your ideas. The world needs your leadership. Let's embrace tech and make a wave of change. You know what my prayer is? That you one day become a president of Nigeria. I like the way you talk. I like the confidence and all that. But ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. We do hope that uh, all the relevant authorities are listening to these and everything that can be done behind the scene, we hope that it will come to fruition. Thank you so much and congratulations for the winning. You won not only for yourself, but for the entire Nigeria. So thank you, thank you thank so you. much. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Chizaram and Chizorum Obi. And uh, they 
um, contested in Technovision and they won. And whether they won or not, they brought out something that is really, really important, especially for Nigeria, where elections are fraught with irregularities and there's violence. Sometimes uh, you go wait for so many hours before you can do what you need to do. We're praying that everybody that needs to hear this and needs to do something about it is watching us right now and is going to do what needs to be done. And this is eventually where we're going to draw the curtain on the show this morning. We hope that you did have a wonderful time. And if you did, let's do it again same time on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. My name is Nyam Gul Agaji. Bye for now. Okay. Conveniently and securely. Our mission is to provide a user friendly, secure, and transparent online voting platform. Nigeria has a issue of election meeting violence. Some of these include voters' intimidation, suppression, violence, ethnic and religious tensions, wicked electoral system, and fraud. This is a story of FD Jennifer, who was recently attacked by thugs in a polling unit while performing as civic rights as a citizen of Nigeria. She is one of the main people injured during the election. This is so sad. In Nigeria, the right to vote is a fundamental aspect of democracy. However, the institutional process of voting has been played with challenges which has affected the integrity of the electoral processes. Some of these challenges include vote rigging, balance box snatching, fund mismanagement, and fraud. According to the survey we conducted, 69.5% of the total feedbacks agree that election in Nigeria are not free and fair, and 79.3% strongly support election voting in Nigeria. This is why our team have come up with a solution by creating an electronic voting app called Credible.